for McSweeney Center, though not much good about it. Maryland falls hard, 85-61, the Michigan Wolverines. I'm Wayne Viner, Mason, Bruce. Bruce, we'll go with you. What'd you make of it today? Well, it's been a tough 24 hours, but uh, the game today was, uh, I guess my guarantee didn't work. Not I thought for sure they were going to win today. I really did. But it goes to show you the first time that the Terps played them, yeah. they were cold. Why teams come to this court and find the three, oh, you'll boy. never know. And did they ever. They were Abdul Rahman Ali. Is that how it goes? <laughs> uh, Ali Rahman. Ali Rahman was just, wow, I haven't seen anybody better. Mason, he got 28 points, eight boards, six assists. Career high day for Rahman. Did you see anything? I'll take your questions usually. Did you see anything good out there? Not much, really. <laughs> they couldn't make a shot. They had the threes again yeah. wide open for Nickens and Wiley, and they missed. I mean, that's the difference between this game being yeah, but a I 10 or 15-point loss and a 20-point loss. you got to give Michigan credit. I thought their defense was great. They really frustrated the Terps. It seemed like the first five minutes they were driving the bucket, getting yeah. easy layups, boom, after the first break. Mm -hmm. What happened? Beeline made some adjustment. And that was it. That was it for us. We end up being down by 30, but we'll get to the stats in a moment. My player of the game with probably 14 minutes, I could check the sheet here, is uh, Reese Mona. Had a good day. He had a good day. Player of this game was uh, uh, Abdul Amor, whatever yeah. his name is. But uh, he was great. I mean, he had five out of seven threes early right. on. And even when he got cold in the second half, he still made things happen. Right. Look, let's move on. We okay. got the Big Ten tournament coming up. Uh, on Wednesday, Go to the break. Thursday. Yeah. We'll come back. All righty. Uh, this is the world's shortest post game show as we're going to head in for the post conference. This is the Viner Four Gates post game show live from Xfinity Center, Michigan 85, the Terp 61. We'll be back with Robert Stevens and wrapping this up in a moment. Meyer Consulting Engineers. In the past five years, our organization has completed over 1,300 projects in the U.S. and abroad, including many structures at the University of Maryland. For structural engineering and materials testing and inspection, call Meyer Consulting Engineers. Center wearing the terrapin red is Robert Stevens. How about that? You're That's a big move for a Georgetown guy. That is a Georgetown, <laughs> a Villanova guy. So hey. what do you have statistically today? Well, the first half was very indicative of what happened in the ball game. Maryland played catch up. Michigan shot 60.7% in the first half compared to Maryland's 35.7. Three point, 11 for 19, 57%. Maryland was one of eight. It were. 12%, well, they were behind right. 54 to 24. Hold it. All right. Well, we'll take a look at the second half here in one sec. Okay, first half comments. All right, here's my first half and second half comments. You've been watching it all year with Georgetown getting beat like this. All right, I haven't seen this all year except at Michigan State. This was painful. Well, the Ohio then, State was similar. Yeah, but, it was yeah. similar. But here's my question. Yep. This game's over with, right? Forget about it. Put it in the rearview mirror. Is Maryland capable of making a run in the Big Ten tournament in your eyes? The way they played today, no. Defensively, they were really lacking one-on-one. -on -one. Abdul Rahman was just able to do anything he wanted to do. Right. They controlled the backboards. They couldn't stop the big men. But you never know. Sometimes you could catch lightning in the bottle, and I know everybody here hopefully would like to see that. But realistically, their second seed right now in the NIT bracketology, I really don't see them making a big run, but who knows? Stranger right. things have happened. Let's get to the second half stats, and then we got to go to the press conference. Well, in the second half, Michigan only uh, outscored Maryland 37 to 31, and they shot 47%. So the second half, Maryland came back, right. made a gallant effort. But when you're behind by 30 in the first half, it's just too much to make up. And it was too much today for the Terps. Uh, that'll do it for today. We will see you from New York City. And, of course, we'll go into the press conference. Uh, see you in New York City on 
Thursday. You have Terp Talk on Wednesday? Yes. Let me make a note. Sports Boosters event, March the 12th at Cunningham's. Call sportsboosters.com. Wayne will be there. Robert, hopefully, will be there. Uh, we got Jeff Baxter as our featured guest. He's fantastic. Oh, from Archbishop Carroll. That's right. Yes. He's fantastic. You know Jeff well. Yes. All righty, folks. And, uh, great, t- great ex Terp, and he'll have a lot to say. We're going to preview March Madness. We're going to have a March Madness contest. All right. A bracket contest. Absolutely. And we'll see who knows the most. <laughs> All right. Okay. I've been I'll winning be every year. I've been winning every year. Uh-oh, uh-oh. You know Mason knows the most. We're going to head inside for the post-game press conference. Thanks for watching. Thanks to Meyer Consulting Engineer and, of course, to Viner Forgates. Uh, we will see you on the radio Wednesday, 6 o'clock on 1300 CBS Sports Radio.